is of Team Danger. My name is Dane Thompson. This is your first time on my YouTube. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm actually at a private track day at Willow Springs. I'm going to be watching some Fords and Mustangs pretty much roll around the track. I don't think I'll really get to uh, be a part of it, but I'll bring you guys along at least give you the vantage point that I have and I'm just going to enjoy the day. I got this beautiful 63 Falcon behind me that is a road race-esque vehicle I'll show you guys and then I got a killer ass uh, fastback over there so then we'll get you some action of the cars driving around if I can throw this thing in the car with somebody too we'll get that done too but that's about it check this thing out Dude, earlier I could just listen to that all day. I don't even need to talk to people. Just try it. Go race that thing already. Okay, where these guys are building period correct Shelby GT 350s. They're not clones. It's the real deal, and they're bringing them all the way back with period materials, specs, everything. Obviously, this one is on a regular radial tire but they can also put the vintage spec tires and everything on them as well. But everything in there for the most part is how they were raced. And they are actually doing a shakedown on a customer car. That's why they were here today. They brought out a new car that they just completed. So um, I actually get to go along for a ride along, which is amazing. I'm very excited about it. These are beautiful cars. They sound amazing. And uh, I'm just excited to be here. So check these guys out.
Um, let's go to 30. We need to go for a ride. This would be awesome. I'll go around. Stick with that. I'm okay with that. Let's go to 31 then on this one. Yeah, please. I'm just trying to stiffen up that sidewall. How's it working out? It seems pretty good. Things good. Really good. It sounds phenomenal. Every time this thing goes by, I'm like, God. Well, and I'm being polite. Jim's, the boss is telling me go 6,500, and I just can't get myself to do it. It's one thing in combat, you know, when it's a wartime situation, yeah. you go there right away, but there's no prize money. <laughs> yeah. And we're running very conservative. We're not, like, this is not going to be a 10 tenths ride. Yeah. I just don't give them. And yeah. it's going to be about eight, seven, eight tenths. It, it'll be enough for your first time. Have yeah. you been around here before? Nope. Okay. So we'll do two. The first lap will be kind of moderate, so you get a sense of where it goes. Oh, you can just go. I'm good, man. We're... Yeah, cool. All right, we're going to go to work here. Is that cool? Yeah.
awesome. I could do that all day. <laughs> could you? God damn, that is fun. You know what's distractive? The length of those uh, hood pin straps. Oh, is that right? Woo! Oh my God, they're everywhere. They look like an octopus. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much, sir. That was, We're happy to do it. That was killer. Thank you. I think we've got the spring settled down. I'll rub a little water in the river. But that's two people on board. Well, there you go. That is a ride in a Shelby GT350 period correct replica. Doing like a buck 20 around the big corner down there. That thing is rad. And he was doing work for sure on that wheel and pedal but uh i could do that all day now i'm gonna have to make tons of money so i can own one of these days like i mentioned to you earlier there's only two people that i could jump in a car that they just built and go like we've been going chuck beck and of course Jimmy Anders cars the obc crew just does such an amazing job every car we brought out here has worked right out of the box that just isn't done that's how good these guys are the best part about this whole thing this whole program with these cars is they are beautiful they are the fit and finish on these things is phenomenal it's probably much better than the original race cars that were really beat to shit but they're out here hammering these things i mean you guys saw me roll around getting driving one he wasn't taking it lightly you know he's probably driving it well past what the customer that's going to buy that car will ever do with it so you know it's good to go when it lands in the hand of the customer so this is amazing maybe one day i'll have like a million jillion dollars and i'll buy one too and then we can drive the wheels off it on my channel see you later